Okay. Um, this here is going to be the Izaro fight. Uh, the Cruel Labyrinth version. Uh, fight him on my ranger here. Let me show you what I got. Uh, single target, Viper Strike. With multi strike, vile toxins, and faster attacks. AoE is Blade Flurry. With Life Leech, Poison Support, and Unbound Ailments. Um, originally, I had Cast Wild Channeling in a Blade Vortex. But, um, I decided to switch it up and, um, try this setup, see how well it goes. Um, one of the reasons I switched out of it was, um, I'm trying to think. Blade Vortex is actually a spell and not a physical attack, so it didn't really fit in with the rest of the build. Plus, um, the, the blades only last, like, five seconds. So, not really enough to get anything going. So, I just went ahead and uh, swapped it out and put this in instead. And also, another change I made. Charge dash. Faster attacks and poison support. It's going to be... I made it my main movement ability. and made leap slam. With... Faster attacks and poison, same thing. My secondary. Mainly because I'm just tired of mashing the button. Tired of mashing the button trying trying to get it to do what I want it to do. So at least with charge dash. I have some control. I have some control over uh, where it goes and stuff. Um I've complained about it before on numerous other videos. But one thing I can't stand about this game is the way uh, targeted abilities work. Like, if you're out of range, she does that. It's, which, I really hate that. I would rather you do what you do in Diablo 3 and just simply leap as far as you can go in the direction you got the mouse pointer at and not run to within range and then do it or hell I'll even hell I'd even be cool if they told me I'm out of range or I can't reach that or you know or something like that to let me know that she can't get over there but doing it like that really ticks me off because usually if I have to use something like leap slam I need to use it like now right away and not having to trot on over there first and then doink. hell I'd be dead be dead by the time I get over there but let me let me continue on with the rest of the stuff I got. Okay, then I got Summon Stone Golem. With faster attacks, poison support, sensing a theme here. And um some uh, elemental resist. Vitality, just for some uh, life regen. And then poacher's mark. With uh blasphemy attached to it, it just makes it a passive aura. I guess for the flasks. These are just centered around uh, short recovery times. Then I got um, some extra damage. Um, some doubles my evasion and some life leech as well. And a longer duration. And she's a Pathfinder Ranger. And centered around poison. And I guess uh, while I'm here, if and when I complete the labyrinth, I'm probably gonna gonna go with this. And then yeah, probably this. She's not a Templar, so she sent it around. She sent it around poison, 
and maybe one day bleed as well. But so, yeah. But let's get started, and let's hope my computer don't. Cr let's hope my computer doesn't restart, and let's hope the game don't crash. Did it. Oh god, finally. Broke through the hump. Of course, having that buff really, really helps, so. But, well, that's, that's one down. Two more to go. Okay. Um, this here is the, uh, this is the second Azaro fight out of three. And this time around, he's got some, uh, he's got some fire resistance, or he's got some uh, elemental resistance, excuse me. Which, uh, no big deal there. She specializes in poison. So, I'll go ahead and give you another quick rundown of, uh, my skills. They're not, they're not gonna be any different from my last fight. So, usual, Viper Strike. Uh, Blade Flurry. Charge Dash is now my main teleport ability. I find Leap Slam to be too much of a pain in the butt to use. And recently... I find that a uh, charge dash can pretty much do all the things that leap slam can do. It can uh, cross gaps and stuff. Because I was doing it on the way up here. I was doing just that, just hopping crap, hopping uh, gaps and crevices and whatnot. Then I got decoy totem, summon stone golem, poacher's mark with blasphemy attached to it, and vitality for some life regen. So, but like I said. Uh, this battle, it's pretty much, it's the same exact setup as my last battle. Um, but, otherwise, like I said a few moments ago, it looks like he's got some, uh, elemental resist now. But, like I said, I don't deal elemental damage, I only deal poison. Well, wish me luck. And let's hope my computer doesn't restart or the game doesn't crash.
No, I don't want to fight him. Watch for that. Wah, wah, wah. 